horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. At the time of the Indian uprisings, shortly after the Civil War, government troops were sent to the western United States. But the commanding officers were untrained in the methods of Indians, and whole detachments might have been wiped out if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. It was his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, and above all, his knowledge of the country that made it possible for the army to restore peace to the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young, from out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! So on this matter on the warpath, we've got to hurry! Oh, Silver, away! war party of Indians, their bodies glistening with oil, war paint streaking their chests and faces, dense at the edge of a clearing that surrounded the sturdy blockhouse. They were careful not to get too close to the rifles that gleamed from narrow slits in the peeled logs. Occasionally, one brave would yell, rush forward, and let fly an arrow, then dart back to shelter. (coughs) Inside the blockhouse, Captain Kilborn turned to his second-in-command, Lieutenant Barlow, and... Devon is working his braves up to a pitch, Barlow. Yes, sir. I don't like it. Those arrows are getting to be a nuisance. I... Look out, Barlow! <coughs> Thanks, Captain Kilburn. If you hadn't pulled Can't me away... Can't let an arrow take a man, Barlow. We need every one. Stay away from those colosses. We could get them if they come up to loose their arrows, sir. No, this is an army post. We have orders not to fight the Indians. They're asking for it. We won't fight unless we have to. If that money arrives, we'll be able to pay Tawanda's tribe. It's overdue already. I can't understand it. Clayton should have arrived two days ago. The money's in payment for the land the Indians sold to the government? That's right. We hope to avoid bloodshed that way. It's cheaper sometimes to pay for it than fight for it. Tawanda was agreeable, but he isn't now. He thinks the government doesn't mean to keep its word. Another brave coming up. I see you, you scout and redskin. Here's this for you. Run back. Hey... He knocked my gun down. The garrison was told not to fire. I missed him anyway. It's ticklish enough as it is. One more incident like that and you go under guard. Sir! And address me as captain. Understand? No, hold on there. I ain't no soldier. That's apparent. A soldier has more regard for the safety of all. My business is trading. I ain't getting out. Go ahead. If you want your scalp to dangle from some brave's belt, that's your business. But what you do inside this blockhouse is my business. Captain! What is it, Barlow? That shot must have done it, Captain. They're attacking? Coming up now. You did this run back. We'll tend to you later. Barlow. Yes, sir? Come along down below. You men all primed and loaded? Yes, Captain. Good, give them what, sir. Hold your fire until you hear the cannon go off. That's the signal. Remember, no firing until the cannon goes off. This way, Barlow. Is the cannon outside, Captain? Yes. Facing the gates to the stockade. Here we are. I'll handle this myself. 
Give me that fuse. Barlow, get those gates open. Yes, sir. Lively there, Brady. Ackerman, unbolt the gate. That's it. Swing them open. Open the gate. Hurry. Oh, yes, sir. Look at them come. They'll see the open gates any moment. I hate to use shrapnel, but the sooner we get them, the better. Shrapnel? They'll bunch up for the gate. But shrapnel, sir, will rip them to pieces. Look, lad, I hate this as much as you do. But I know Indians. Unless they're beaten back strongly and at once, why, they'll just make it that much harder. This way, a few Indians get killed and it's all over. Otherwise, our men get killed one by one. The Indians get killed the same way. This is better, much better for all. They see the gate. Not yet. They're coming as hard as they can run. Yes, I'll let them get close. Very close. Captain, they stopped. So they have. I don't understand it. They're looking off toward the woods, sir. Well, this doesn't make I sense. Captain, look. It's a man on a horse. Look at that horse. Hey, that there's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. That's right, Captain. Run back his right. And look, the Indians are drawing back. Right, Barlow. Man those gates. Yes, sir. As soon as he's inside, swing them shut. Can't take any chances with those Indians. Swing those gates when they give the command. Come on, Silver. Wonder what in tarnation the Lone Ranger's doing here. I don't know, Grunback. But he surprised Tawanda's braves out of attacking. For that, I'm thankful. Close the gate! Oh, Silver! Oh, boy! Yep. Yep. Steady, Silver. Captain Kilburn? Yes? You're the Lone Ranger? Glad I got here in time, Captain. Tawanda's braves were starting an attack. No, they won't attack. Not for a while. Yeah? You can't tell about savages. Who are you? Me? My name's Grunback, mister. I'm a trader. And I know Indians. We gotta be ready. Ah. Indians don't usually attack when there's another method open. I think you can parley with him, Captain Kilburn. I hope so. It will... One moment. How did you know my name? How? My Indian companion and I found a man on the trail, Captain. A man named Clayton. Clayton? He was supposed to bring the treaty money. He was dead, Captain. I see. I was afraid of that. He carried this army order addressed to you. It referred to money. Poor Clayton. The money was gone, huh? All of it. We rode here as fast as we could. It was apparent there'd be trouble brewing. I told you. I told you that munition was boiling. They're going to grab us all. They're going to kill us. Quiet. We'll all be dead. We'll be dead. I said quiet. I don't think they'll attack, but don't try to scare the whole garrison. Captain. Captain Kilborn. What is it, Barlow? The Indians, Captain. Chief Tawanda's coming toward the fort. He's making the sign of peace. Maybe we can talk our way out of this. Man, you boys of my tribe, I am their chief. I tell them make war, they make war. I told you, Kilburn. Run back another word out of you and this fort won't be responsible. We'll toss you outside to scrape for yourself. Where is money? Great White Father promised. You saw me ride up, Tawanda? Uh, you come on horse that ride like wind. Tawanda, he think maybe so you bring money. That's why I stop braves. Where money? Tawanda, the great white father Captain, is... Yes? Do you mind if I talk to Tawanda? I wish you would. Any man in the West will listen to the Lone Ranger. That's more than I can say for myself. Thanks. Chief Tawanda. Uh, Chief Tawanda, listen to Lone Ranger. Tawanda, that money was on its way here. A messenger named Clayton was bringing it. You've seen the dispatch he carried. Chief Tawanda, not read white man's writing. Clayton was dry gulch, Tawanda. That money was stolen. Maybe so. Are you willing to plunge your whole tribe into a border war? No one has tried to cheat you. Think, Tawanda. Do you want your squaws to raise the death chant in your village? That's true. Always death chant follow chant of war. But Tawanda's tribe want money. It's ours. One more week, Tawanda. Give us a week and we'll get it here. You listen. You think braves wait week? Too long. Four days. A courier might make it east and back in four days. No. Four days. Too long. Then we powwow no more. Uh, I go now. Soon we come. We fight. You'll have safe conduct from the fort. And when you return, you'll get a much warmer reception. I'm sorry. But One I... moment. Eh? Tawanda, will you hold off your braves for two days? Uh, two days. You get the money before the third sun up. Will you go back to your teepees? You're crazy, man. There isn't a horse that could make that trip in two days. I'm not so sure. Even your horse. It's too much. Captain, I don't know whether Silver can make it. But he can if any horse can. At least we can try. Well, Tawanda? Mask man, you bring money before third sun up or Tawanda sound war cry. Uh, Tawanda will wait. That's it. 
The hoot of the owl. That's the signal. I better answer back. This way. Tarnation, you give me a scare? White man walk like loco buffalo. I didn't hear a sound. No wonder you cover ground like fog rolling. Not even a twig snap. Twig come back. My braves, they miss me soon. You make talk now. Sure, Tawanda, sure. You got the money you took off that courier? Here, money. Ah, sure is one hefty load. Tawanda, no want money. Yeah. I can't savvy you, Tawanda. You and me fix it so you can dry gulch that courier and get the money. But you don't want none of it for yourself. Tawanda, want no money. Sure, sure. All you want is to drive them soldiers out of your range, huh? Tawanda, want this land for red man. If soldier go, no white man dare come again. Well, like I keep telling you, you can't stop them, Tawanda. It's like the waves of the sea. They're coming west and you can't stop them. Tawanda, not like that talk. Yeah, don't know what for I'm sticking my neck out. You don't listen anyway. But say... Huh? If you feel that way about white men, how come you're using me to help you? Sometime wolf make friend with coyote. <laughs> That's rich. So I'm the coyote, huh? Kind of scavenger, huh? <laughs> well, you can call me anything you've a mind to. So long as I get this. Grumbach. Yeah? This lone ranger. You think he returned before a third sun up? Yeah, that reminds me. What fur did you agree to wait, Tawanda? Because Lone Ranger would be here. That not good. My braves know of him. You mean they'd be scared to attack a fort while the Lone Ranger was inside? They would attack, but still afraid. Uh, so you want him out of the way? Even Coyote has nimble brain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. Besides, we get some more money, huh? Tawanda, ask you question. Can the ranger get back here in two days? Well, Chief, I don't know. Don't seem possible, not even when he's riding that horse silver. But he's got to come back along the trail. I calculate if Clayton was dry gulch, the same thing might happen to the lone ranger. You speak wise words. My tribe, wait. I'll see he don't get back in time, Tawanda. You can pin your eagle feather on that. Good. You come now. Huh? You and Tawanda talk more. Come this way. Lone Ranger must not return. Um, that bad. Me go to Fort Pronto, tell Lone Ranger that bad. I hope you know what you're doing, Mask Man. You have the dispatch and the carry, Captain? Right here. It's addressed to Major Decker. Good. I hope he's able to get the money together. The less delay there is at the other end, the better. It's a tough trip. Think you can make it in time? I'll answer you better when I get back. If you're late, this fort will be a smoking ruin. You can count on Silver, Captain. It's dangerous, masked man. Sure you don't want an escort? And make Silver slow down? No, Captain. Not if you want me back on time. Uh, yes, yes, I'd forgotten that. Going alone is our only chance. Here, Silver. Steady, boy. Hip. Yeah. Well, good luck. You can open the gates, Captain. We're ready. Open those gates! Silver, it's up to you. Those long legs of yours will have to cover plenty of ground. <laughs> That's the spirit, Silver. Goodbye, Captain. Come on, Silver boy. Close the gates. Captain. Captain Silver. Barlow, where have you been? Who's that with you? Captain. My lone ranger. Oh, your Tonto, his Indian friend. He mentioned you'd be in later. Not right. When we find that man, Ranger him ride ahead to warn Fort. He said you were to wait for him here. No wait. Me here. Bad news. Me find Ranger. You won't find him now. Huh? He's gone. You couldn't catch him with a bullet. Him go? Yes, he... There. Listen. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes... Please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger rode away into the darkness, Tonto told Captain Kilburn of the plot he had overheard. Well, I'll be hanged. So Tawanda means to make war, huh? He's going to have the Lone Ranger ambush. Uh, him and White Trader. Grunback, that mealy mouse scavenger. So he's the one who's responsible for Clayton's death. And I let that jackal stay in the stockade. Let him eat meals off army food under the flag of the country. Uh, talk doesn't do any good. Uh, what do we do? Do you know where this ambush is scheduled to take place, Tonto? Uh, me not hear that. Me come fast. If you'd got here before the Lone Ranger left, we might have figured out something. As it is, there's more than a hundred miles of country. The Lone Ranger might be ambushed anywhere. If the captain will put me in charge of a detail, we can go out with this Indian. Uh, we go on trail? We can cover some part of the trail anyway. Perhaps we could uh, uncover that ambush before the Lone Ranger runs into it on his way back. That's a fine idea, Barlow. Except for one thing. Hmm? You won't have to look over this stockade to know what's on the other side. Tawanda's campfires ring the fort in a complete circle. He let the Lone Ranger get out to make it appear he was agreeing with his bargain. Mm, not right. But he's letting no one else out. One step beyond and you'd be stuck with arrows like a porcupine. No, we can't do a thing. It's all up to the Lone Ranger. That's it, Silver. Eat up these long miles. It's up to you, old fellow. Look ahead, Silver. Water. That's what we need. Water. Go ahead. Right into it. Right in. That tastes good, doesn't it, boy? Not too much. There's a long way to go. Well done. Good boy. Then let's get going again. Up, boy. Hit the trail, Silver. We're heading to Fort Monroe and Major Decker. Hello, Silver Hoy! Monroe! Hey, looks like that fella's coming this way. Major Decker! Hey, he's calling Major Decker. Hanlon, what's all the fuss? What's going on? I'm begging the Major's pardon, sir. That fella out there, heading across the prairie. Ah, oh, fine horse. Fine. Look at him travel. Major Decker! Major Decker! Well, I declare, he's calling me. The Major's right. Should I hold a gun on him, sir? Uh, no need to that, Hanlon. Just stand by. Yes, sir. Yep. <sighs> hey, good fellow, Silver. You... Meet him easy, mister? Feed and water this horse. Cool him off. Where's Major Decker? Hi, Major Decker. Who are you? Your mask. I am. I have a dispatch from Captain Kilburn. Should I care for the horse, Major? Uh, yes, yes. Go ahead, Hanlon. Now, sir, will you explain why Captain Kilborn would trust a masked man to bring a dispatch? If you'll read this, it'll give you the answer. Huh. Why, according to this, you've ridden 120 miles since... Perhaps more. The Lone Ranger, huh? Eh? Well, I didn't realize. Glad to know you. Heard so much if about the Major you... will finish the dispatch. Huh? Oh, oh, yes. Request Major to gather money... Uh, well, the, I'd like to start back as soon as possible, uh, Major. Yes, yes, of course. Of course, Kilburn must have the money for Tawanda. I'll get it for you at once and... Hold on. You... You mean to say you are going back? Silver and I, yes. But you... Why, you just came in. I'll send someone else. Fresh man, fresh horse. Major, do you think any other horse but Silver could possibly get back to the fort in time to prevent the Indian attack? Oh. No, you're right. No other horse could. Then suppose you get that money, Major. Soon as Silver's rested, we're going back. They must be already worried at the fort. One more day. Less than 24 hours until on the attacks. Who is it? Lieutenant Barlow, sir. Barlow, come in. Captain, I... Close the door first. The men are nervous enough already. I can see by your face it's bad news. Bad news, Captain? Well, I don't know. It might be for that Indian friend of the Lone Rangers. As far as the fort's concerned, it's just one less defender in case of attack. What? You're talking about Tonto? He's gone, Captain. Gone? You're sure? He left as soon as it got dark. One of the sentries saw him scale the wall. Did Tawanda's braves... Well, I don't know if they caught him or not, Captain. The shadows were getting longer. He slipped into the woods. 
That's the last that we've seen of him. Going to help the Lone Ranger? Yes, sir. Well, he's a good man. I hope he gets through. If he can only locate the Lone Ranger before he reaches the ambush. Yes, sir. But there's too many ifs, Captain. Too many ifs all together. What's that noise, Selby? You want to warn the Lone Ranger? Uh, he ain't nowhere's in sight, Grunbeck. Less talking, more watching, Selby. You sure he's going to come this way? No other way for him to go, less than he jumps the ravine. Yeah. If he could do that, it would cut off maybe five miles on the way to the fort. Well, forget it. Nobody ain't jumped the cliff and nobody's going to. Besides, the Lone Ranger ain't got no idea we're planning to dry gulch him. He'll ride that horse right plumb in front of us. Make your shots count. We can't miss. I want to figure the Lone Ranger wouldn't be getting back in time, but I wasn't taking no chances. What about that money the Lone Ranger's carrying? You'll get your share, Selby. Yeah? <laughs> All we got to do is sit right here and wait for the Lone Ranger to come along. You'll pay us that money, he won't even know it. <laughs> He'll be dead. Run back. Uh, look there, up ahead. I can't see nothing. It ain't light yet by a couple hours. Way up ahead there. It's getting light just enough in the east to make out something coming over the ridge. You see it? Outlined against the sky? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a horse and rider. You think it's him? Who else, Selby? Who else? <laughs> Just sit back and aim your rifle. The bank's going to open mighty soon. <laughs> Come on, Silver. We're going to make it, Silver. That light behind us is the sun. It's coming fast, but we'll beat it to the fort. Keep those legs pounding. Silver, what was that? That sounds like... Help, Silver! Tano, you... Me glad to see you. I left you at the fort. What are you doing here? You ride for ambush? An ambush? Who would... Run back? Ah, uh, him and Tawanda... They passed. I see. Run back in Tawanda. You came out here to warn me. That's right. Me sneak out at night, go around ambush. Up ahead? Ah, uh, there. Tell a good friend. If you hadn't come out to warn me, I'd have ridden straight for it. But now... Let me see you. A shot. It's still too dark for accurate firing, but... You ain't getting through here, masked man. How's this? Tell him. Can we go back the way you got him? No good, Kimus. I'll be too far. All the way around, huh? Huh. And there's only one thing to do. We can't afford a delay. Tell her we've got to rush them. Uh, me ready. Right now, while the light is still too poor for them to get an accurate shot. Ready? We go. Come on, Silver. Half the bolt. Come on, Scout. Come on. Shoot. Shoot. I'm charging. Grab your gun from back. Order. Fire, Tyler. Shoot. We've got to get them. Oh, Silver. We give up. My hand. Drop your guns. We give up. We surrender. This is the way you ambush Clayton, isn't it? It was Tawanda done Clayton and not me. You're both guilty. Where are your horses? I miss him. That way. What, what are you going to do? We're taking you back to the fort. When the Indians learn exactly how they've been fooled by their chief, they'll deal with Tawanda. And the army will deal with you. Uh, got us over a barrel, ain't you? All right, but it took you plenty long to get us. Well? It's a full five mile from here to the fort. By the time you get there, Tawanda will have started the fight already. <laughs> you can't save the fort now. Mm, that's true. Sure it's true, Injun. Back there in the east, the sun's coming up almost any minute. You got us, but you ain't saving them soldiers. You may be wrong, Grunbach. Tell her, huh? keep these men with you. Take them to the fort as fast as you can. Guard them every minute. What good's that going to do you? You can't get I'm there. I'm not going with you, Tonto. There's only one possible way to reach the fort on time. If I jump the ravine, I can save three miles at least. Huh? No. You not try it. Jump the ravine? Mass man, you're crazy. <laughs> you can save that last run back. You may need it. But you can't. No one ever jumped that ravine before. You're plumb loco. Remember, Tutter. Silver, him tired. Maybe Scout... Scout could never make the leap, Tutter. I'm not sure Silver can, but we're going to try. I can jump it right here. It's as narrow a spot as any. Silver will need plenty of space to get a run. You so... miss the other side, you die. And we won't fail, Kimasabi. Come, Silver. Back as far as we can get. Uh, looks like the end of the Lone Ranger. Him die, you die too. All right, Silver, old fellow. Over the ravine. Here he comes. Silver! Well, I'll be... He made it! Well, 
There's the sun, Captain. It looks like the Lone Ranger failed. The Wanda's Braves are getting ready. We haven't a chance. The whole garrison. You know Indians, Barlow. They'll wipe us out to the last man. Uh, we'll take a few with us, Captain. I hope we take Tawanda. He's a bloodthirsty one. One man. One man who has power and misuses it. And his whole tribe suffers. They don't want to fight. They don't want to do that. They're starting. Well, leave the gates open. We'll give them a charge of shrapnel as soon as they get... Stop! Come on, Silver! Captain, it... It can't be! Don't fire! Here's the money! It is. It's the Lone Ranger. Come on, Lieutenant. The garrison's saved. Come on! Steady, Silver. Captain Kilburn. Ranger, you brought the money? Here it is, in my saddlebags. Where's Tawanda? Tawanda here. You didn't expect to get this money, did you? Braves, hear me. You know me. I want to tell you your leader, Tawanda, is a traitor. Oh, oh, no. Easy, masked man. That's hard for them to swallow. And not so hard, Lieutenant. There must be many who've guessed the truth already, only they haven't dared to speak. Tawanda, you and Grunback ambushed Clayton. You took the money. White man with masked speak truth. Tawanda ambushed soldier Clayton, but Tawanda not want money. He took no, 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 no. Braves, Braves, listen to me. Tawanda, your chief, speaks the truth now, but only because he knows that if the Lone Ranger lives, then Grunback must be captured. Grunback is captured. He's being brought here now. Your chief has betrayed your tribe. Protect me, help me. Don't look to us for help, Tawanda. You brought this on yourself. No, no. Do not kill your chief. Well, they're sure taking him in hand. You think they'll kill him, Captain? No, Barlow. But they will banish him. From now on, we'll have no trouble from that tribe. Yes, the Lone Ranger Indian part is bringing ground back in, Captain. Well, let's ask the Ranger. Well, didn't you notice, Captain? He left while you were looking at Tawanda. He's going to help the Indian. And look at that horse. He's still going strong. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.